gubernatorial runoff election day has finally arrived here in the NMI and supporters for the independents Palacio Sabatang and Republicans Torres Sablon are out in full force in this final push. CNMI Decision 2022 coming to a close before ballots are counted Friday night at the Saipan Multipurpose Center. Everything right now has been running smooth since uh, we opened the polls at 7 this morning. Overall in all the three islands we had about 6,000 uh, voters come out and vote during early voting. We'll see what the outcome is for election day. On November 8, 14,750 people voted in the three-way gubernatorial race. Tonight, democracy in action, as the numbers game reveals who will occupy the executive seat for the next four years. I'm feeling good, but you know, it's election. Uh, we always respect what the outcome is for the community, so this is the second round, and I just want to thank all of, uh, all of everyone that voted. Republicans Torres Sablon garnered 38.83% of votes on general election day, while independents Palacios Apatang received 33.15% and Democrats, who they formed a coalition with recently, got 28.01%. We spoke with Palacios Thursday when he voted. You're good, uh, very confident that, that people will come out and, and uh, make that change, vote for that change that is necessary. Tonight's two biggest questions will perhaps be who will be the next governor and who showed up to elect him? Tomas Maglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.